So yeah, Earth 2's raiding video has left me feeling pretty hyped. I'm basically just going to do a quick watered down version for you guys, because uh, I know that much data can be a little overwhelming. So, in the most simple terms, we're using droids to raid unclaimed ether from other players' properties. It will cost essence to get droids, but it's essentially free to run them. But let's take a look at this in a little more detail. Basically, we send out droids to collect ether from properties. To do this, we initially need to select specific properties from the map to raid. However, after we have some raids in the bag, we will start to develop favourites and recently raided lists which are built into the raiding screen for easy selection. These raids will take a set amount of time which will vary depending on things like distance away from the property and your droids setup. The droids do also have power cells which are drained during raids. So raiding close by will use less power and in turn allow you to do more raids. But further away or larger raids might be ideal for those of us who are away from the computer for long periods during the day. So what is a droid? Basically droids are something we can essentially claim from the land but just in the energy form. With this state being called meta sprites. We can then essentially craft them into solid beings using essence via our mentors. The droid is then bonded to the mentor and remains tethered for use. There are also different kinds of droids which will have different functions in the future but for now they do all do the same. Droids do also need to have a power cell to allow them to function. Power cells are created using essence, however this is just held and not burnt. You can power your droid down and take the essence back if you do so desire. Now we're using our droids to raid for uncollected ether from Mentors before it expires. Basically how we now have 48 hours to collect our ether, this will sort of remain as you still have 48 hours to claim it, however it's only safe for the first 24 of those, after which it becomes unstable and other players can raid it with their droids. Basically just make sure you're collecting your ether at least every 24 hours and there's no risk of anyone else getting it. Now, we won't know if the properties we're trying to raid has uncollected the ether or not, it will be trial and error. So check in if your raid was successful and creating a favourites list to raid where you know you've found ether in the past will be pretty much crucial if you want to increase your success rate. Now droids can also be slotted with jewels which will increase certain stats such as speed, storage and efficiency. However, they will work without slotting two, so don't stress if you don't have any jewels. They basically work as boosts so you can play around and find the build that works for you if you do decide to use jewels. Droids do also need to be charged before going back out to raid. This is done within the properties mentor. You won't be able to go out in a raid if there's not enough energy left for the return trip. So keep this in mind when planning raids and charging sessions. Try to work them around when you can and can't be at the PC. So, I think the last point I need to quickly cover is property size. Basically, the number of droids you can have per property is based on the number of tiles within it, and properties of 3 tiles or less can't support any droids at all. Now, as I said at the start, this really is a watered down version of Raiden, and hopefully they do keep it simple enough for the casual player to get stuck into. As if you're anything like me, the last thing you want to be doing is spending more time sifting through data to draw your battle plans than actually playing.